finally my friends this is my second mini excavator and I'm total amateur I'm just doing all the work around big big uh, house here it's not even a house this is my mountain and road bike studio uh, of my sick bike channel but anyway this is the Yanmar SV26 and I'm gonna show you some basic basic stuff namely the questions I had when I was buying the first excavator this is not a buying advice but how does this thing actually work first thing here is my safety uh, safety thing now everything is online on this machine and question does mini excavator excavator or excavator has gears like in the car first second third four five well yes and no first thing first if you want to move faster or work faster dig faster you want to you want to have movements of your uh, oil motors faster or hydraulic motors you just rev the engine right so this this these are my rpms of the engine and for example my machine works very well just around 1700 70 50 um, rpms okay so these are my tracks right left i can also work with my feet on my tracks now i'm going forward now I'm gonna stop and I'm going backwards as you can see the further I'm pushing those the faster I go so I can go really slow and gently same backwards so the higher the, the RPMs the faster I'm gonna move and also my boom my everything my bucket will move faster but that's maybe something we're gonna cover a little bit later but second thing yes i do have gears you can see the rabbit right here and here is the button i at least on this machine on my jcb i had a another little lever for that but when i push this button here you will see rabbit appear and that's actually the second gear but this gear is only for the tracks it, it has no effect on my boom and my uh, my bucket uh, these are only for the hydraulics for my um, motors propelling motors track motors so now we can see i'm moving much faster still this is not this is not <laughs> super fast but it's it's way way faster so when i'm gonna cover the distance like 100 feet to the place when I'm gonna dig I'm gonna use the rabbit so yes I do have gears on the mini excavator second question how does this thing actually turn well you can turn this machine with this machine in a couple of ways but first let's just uh, take these rocks away First thing, the difference in the speed of your right and left track will make your machine turn. Same speed of both tracks, I'm going straight. When my left track is moving faster than the right one, then I'm, I'm turning to the right. And this is gnarly terrain. And when my right track is moving faster than the left track, I'm moving to the left. The more experience you're gonna have, the more you're gonna use your legs for your tracks because you have your uh, hands then free to react, to do whatever you need to do uh, in different situations on the construction. The second way for a machine to turn is actually to swing. And that's with this lever. When I'm going to the right with the lever, I'm swinging to the right and I'm going to the left I'm swinging to the left does the machine has any limit like 90 degrees or 100 degrees or whatever no it doesn't as long as I'm keeping my lever pushed I can go I can go around that's thanks to the hydraulic motors and it's so so handy on the construction because that's what you're gonna be doing you're gonna be taking the material from one place around your machine and move it 
be careful, to another place. And you're gonna be really rather rarely moving with your tracks. And the third way to turn or actually to move your bucket from side to side is not to swing but to use your boom. For that I have a little button right here because I can, I can use my hydraulic motors for different things, right? But when this one is pushed, then I can use this uh, button. I can move it to the right. I can move it to the left. By swinging, I'm also moving my engine, my whole machine around the tracks. And this is not a so-called zero tail excavator, zero tail swing, uh, I guess, machine. So when I was very close to the wall of this house, digging around the house, I couldn't turn like that because I would damage both the machine and the wall. So when I doing, when I was doing digging just next to the wall, I would do it like this. Take the material and then swing the boom only. You see, and I'm able to take the material, move it away and go back and dig. So this is also a way of turning with your machine or more with your bucket. And finally, you can turn or move your machine by using both the track and your boom, the bucket, everything at the same time, using your hands and legs at the same time. I'm gonna put my, my bucket on the ground and this is not something, something I do really well. I'm learning this. I didn't learn it with my first machine, okay. Now I'm a little bit up with the front area of my, um, uh, of my trucks and then I'm going I'm going like this, boom, doesn't look professional and it isn't, but yes, that's, that's the way of uh, moving in tight places, Pro professionals will do it much better than me of course and I'm gonna improve this technique and show you later how I'm doing. And finally, what's the blade for? The blade, that's the thing I'm moving with this lever. When I move it up, the blade goes up. When I push it down, the blade goes down and it has really a lot of force because it can actually move my machine, lift my uh, machine up. Uh, this blade looks like it's been made for moving materials. Oh, you can, you can hear a lot of rocks in this in the soil and that's not the primarily that's not primarily what you what you would be using it for sometimes you will uh, I use it very rarely sometimes for leveling the ground for my machine so when I'm when I'm coming to the place where I'm gonna be digging and I see that the the, the terrain is really uneven I would just smoothen it out a little bit with the blade uh, helping myself with the bucket of course so that my machine will be stable it won't be uh, rocking from side to side but mostly the blade is for stabilizing so it's also called stabilizing bar when it's when I'm applying the pressure with the blade to the uh, to the soil to the ground I don't even have to lift myself I just feel I'm putting the pressure there my machine is much more stable and also when you're digging sometimes you will be somewhere in the hole and you're digging a lot of material just around your machine it will stop the material which is great you don't want to be putting the material on your tracks on your um, hydraulic uh, system so this also helped with that most of the blades if not all have the option of putting the extension um, on them so it will be even um, uh, wider and when you are of need of putting your bucket or putting a lot of pressure to the ground because it's rocky or something, you see, now I'm lifting my machine by putting the pressure with the bucket to the ground. 
just remember it puts a lot of pressure on the machine also but sometimes you're gonna have to do it it's the best thing is to have the blade behind you so now when I'm having my blade behind you uh, behind me I'm not gonna be able to lift the machine that easily that means I'm gonna have more pressure on my bucket to the um, to the ground so this is how it works like now I will be moving those bricks else somewhere else and I, I put the pressure they are hard bricks having the blade behind me will help me not to lift the machine actually do what I want to do and these are some basics um, in the next one I'm going to show you how do you actually operate it we're going to learn some simple movements so that you'll remember very quickly how to operate with your bucket how to dig how to move materials thanks for watching see you soon